Hi, we're taking a look at what you can achieve with wide-angle lenses on a digital SLR. Now, to do that, we're looking at Canon's EFS 10-22mm wide-angle lens. Now, this is a super wide-angle lens, and uh, this one in particular, it's built to be compatible with any of Canon's APS-C digital SLRs. So that's all the way from the entry-level Canon 1000D up to the higher-end Canon 7D. Now, with 10-22mm wide-angle, you can go so, so wide. This is uh, going to be an equivalent of 16-35mm to once it's attached to one of these cameras. Now it's a fairly chunky lens, you can see it here in the middle and contrasted to its left you can see Canon's 18-55mm uh, to 55 millimeter standard kit lens, so it's clearly larger than that. And then just to its right it's Canon's uh, other kit lens, the 18-135mm to 135 millimeter zoom lens. So all in all, fairly large, quite wide and uh, a little extra weight to add to the front of your camera. Now a wide angle lens like this will give you huge benefits for wide angle photography like large landscapes or even indoors. Say that you're in a, a room where you can't really step that far back, this lens will let you capture everything without having to go all the way back through the window. If you're capturing an entire landscape you'll fit everything in from that widest angle of 10 millimeters. Even going all the way up to the maximum zoom setting of 22 that's still very very wide, 35 millimeter equivalent. So you really can fit a lot in with this lens. Now what's interesting is we're looking at this lens on the Canon EOS 550D. This is one of the newest cameras from Canon and one thing that it can do is HD video. So this is footage taken on the EOS 550D using the 10 to 22 millimeter lens and you can see as I pan around that distortion effect creeping in at the side. So this is it filmed at 10 millimeters and I'm just going to zoom in now and as you see as we get closer to the end of the zoom range that distortion stops. You still get a wide angle but you won't get the, uh, the curvature of straight lines around the edges. Now both in the still mode and the video mode, there are some advantages and disadvantages to shooting with a super wide angle lens like this. For one thing, you're going to notice a lot of distortion around the edges of the, of the pictures when you're shooting at the widest angle of 10 millimeters. Now straight lines, that'll affect straight lines in particular. Say you're shooting a, a building which has lots of straight lines around the edges. Sure, you can fit the whole building in using this lens, but you will notice a little bit of warping just around the sides. Now that becomes much less apparent if you zoom in a little bit, so go beyond the 10mm to say 12mm or even all the way up to 22 and the lines are going to start behaving themselves a lot better. Now there's no image stabiliser built into this camera lens, but uh, that's actually not such an issue when you're photographing at wide angles. Uh, image stabilisation is a lot more important when you're zooming in, it becomes a lot more apparent, little trembling hand motions when you use a zoom. Now you'll notice as you manually zoom this lens, uh, there's actually no extension on the lens barrel itself. As you go from 10mm all the way up to 22 the lens itself is fixed, so uh, that's quite a benefit. You're not going to have the lens sticking further out. Now, uh, Canon's not alone in the wide-angle lens market. There's also uh, offerings from Tekina, who has an 11 to 16 mm lens. There's Tamron, and there's also Sigma that has a 10 to 20 mm lens. Now, uh, those third-party manufacturers will also fit Nikon fit mounts. So, uh, you know, there's quite a few options in the ultra-wide-angle lens market right now. Actually, one quite unexpected thing you can do with a wide-angle lens is photographing things very close up. Again, you're going to get that strange fisheye effect, but sometimes it can make for quite creative photography. So here's a shot I took earlier. There's a cat looking right into the lens, and you get that funny kind of fisheye effect. Now, if you're prepared to shop around online, you can find this lens for around £650 or around £700 on the high street. It's one of the more expensive wide-angle lenses around. Those third-party manufacturers do tend to have cheaper lenses, so they have their own benefits and drawbacks. Now, Witch does reviews of the best digital SLRs and the best HD camcorders, so for much more, do check on at witch.co.uk where you can find in-depth reviews based on our own expert testing.